Hello students, this is Swati Deshpande teacher. Today I will be taking few important sums from 8th standard scholarship mathematics section. See students, from today I am starting a new series which is known as concept building. This is the first video. Many more videos will come. Okay, let's begin. The first sum I have already written on the board. Right? Whenever you see something like this, your job is to reduce the bigger number to the base of the smallest number. What I mean? See, this I am writing it as it is. Now 125 I will write as 5 cube. 1 upon 6 is as it is. Now here the concept of indices will play a very very important role. Okay. So as per the rule of indices. This is a rule. You all are aware of this rule. So we are going to make use of this rule here. So what we will do? 3 into 1 upon 6. So 3 ones are 3. 3 twos are 6. So ultimately what we will get? 1 upon 2. 1 upon 2 is same as root 5. Isn't it? This is same as root 5. Root 5 or root of 5 is same as 5 raised to 1 upon 2. That is half. Now we will do multiplication here. 5 root 5 into root 5 again we will get 5. Right? Root 5 into root 5 is 5. Then it is very simple. Answer is 25. See indices is such a topic which is based on formulae. They have given in any book, whichever you refer, all the uh, formulas will be given there. Please see all of them, understand all of them and make use of the appropriate formula at the time of examination. Right? Chalo. Aage hai, Students, this is the Next sum will appear on your screen. At an election, a candidate secures 40% of total votes but is defeated by other candidate by 300 votes. Find the total number of votes polled. Okay. Now let's assume total votes as X. Right? Because we don't know. Out of that, the defeated candidate has got 40% and the winner, the one who has won the election, he has got 60% and the difference between this and this is of 300 votes. Means if he would have got 300 votes more, then there would have been tie. Right? So, how to write this? Whatever they have given us in English, in the form of question we have written in the form of mathematics right 40 percent jo defeat hua hai usko 300 votes se wo hara hai means if agar wo 300 votes mil jate usko to uska bhi same ho jata right that is what we have written here in mathematics let's solve it now 40 percent of what 40 percent of total votes so 40 percent means upon 100 of total votes plus 300 this x I will write here is equal to 60 percent of total. This is the equation. I hope you all have understood this. Right? 40 percent plus 300 then it will be equal to 60 percent. So we have written that in the form of an equation. So let's solve it. How can we do that? All x we will take it in one place. And 300 we will leave it here. So 300 is equal to 60 upon 100 into x. That is here x 
and this 40 upon 100 into x will go that side and will become minus. Okay, let's solve it. 300 is equal to 60x minus 40x upon 100. I have clubbed it because the denominator is same. So, numerator ki subtraction came in. That is equal to 20x upon 100. I will write it here. So, now ultimately my equation is 300 is equal to 20x upon 100. Now, it is very easy. We can shift this 100 here. 300 into 100. This 20 we will take it down. Just for the reason we want to keep this x alone here. So, 20 upar tha wo niche gaya, 100 niche tha wo upar gaya. That's it. Reciprocal. Now, we will remove possible zeros and we will do division. 2 ones are 2, 2 fives are 10. Now, 5 threes are 15 and this two zeros. That is equal to x. x means total votes. That is what they have asked. So, 1500 is the answer. A, B and C together complete a work in 15 days. B takes 60 days to complete the work and C takes 40 days to complete the work. How many days will A alone require to complete the same work? Okay, whatever they have given in English, we are writing it in mathematics. A, B or C, Tino mila ki kitne days me karte hai? 15 days. Means in one day they can complete one upon 15, right? B alone can do the work in 60 days. So, he can do in one day one upon 60 work. C can do in 40 days. Means in one day C can complete only one upon 40, right? Now, if, and now, uh, hume kya find out karna hai? A kitne din me alone karega, right? Pura ka. So, A plus B plus C, usme se, agar hum B minus karte hai and C minus karte hai, to what will remain? Only A. B will go with this, C will go with this. So, what will remain? A. That is what they have asked. So, simply we will do that. A kitna hai? 1 upon 15, minus 1 upon 60, minus 1 upon 40. As the numerators are different, if we want to go ahead with the subtraction, we need to find out the LCM. Everybody knows how to find out the LCM, but still I will show you a shortest possible way. Right? So here, 5, 5 threes are 12 are and 8 are, then from this 2, we can remove 3. So, 1s are and 4s are. 8 will remain as it is. Now, from this 2, we can remove 4. So, 1s are and 2s are. Now, 2, we have to bring it out. 1, 1, 1. So, multiplication of all these. 5 into 3 into 4 into 2. 5 3s are 15, 15 4s are 60, 16 2s are 60 2s are 120. 120 is the LCM. See in LCM we can find out. पहले तो हमें तीनों में से जो निकलता है वो निकलना होता है. बाद में दोनों का कौन सा भी combination, whatever. अगर तीनों में नहीं निकलता है, तो whichever is common in two, that you remove. Any order, you can remove from this two or this two or this two, that doesn't matter. Your answer eventually won't change, right? So, LCM may any kar sakte, LCM may kar sakte. So, 120. Now, we need to make all the denominators as 120. So, here 15, 8 za. So, upar bhi karna padega, ne to fraction ka value change hoga into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. So, kya gaya? 8 upon 120 minus 2 upon 120 minus 3 upon 120. Now, since the denominator is same, we can 
club it together and write with the common denominator 8 minus 2 6 6 minus 3 3 so 3 upon 120 3 ones are 3 3 fours are 12 and this 0 please don't forget so answer is I'll write it here 1 upon 40 means in one day see this calculation whatever we have done is for one day okay so obviously this is also A's one day work means he can complete in one day 1 upon 40 part of the work means total work will be reciprocal of this so A will complete entire work in 40 days this time is ulta jaysay hum logo ne idhar ulta kiya tha to find out the work we can complete or they can complete in one day similarly here A ka mila hai lekin hume total nikala hai days so again the reciprocal so 40 days is the answer a can complete the entire work in 40 days. Here the concept of work and time plays a very very important role. Okay. Many times they have asked similar questions. They will change the value. Okay. The actual method will be same. Correct. Chal. Aage hai. Read the next sum properly. The perimeter of a rectangle is 6x plus 2 centimeter and its length is 2x minus 3 centimeter. Find its breadth. Okay. Perimeter they have given. How much it is? 6x plus 2 centimeters. Okay. And length is 2x minus 3. 2x minus 3. Breadth we need to find out. Very simple. It is a rectangle. Okay. Perimeter is 6x plus 2. Length is 2x minus 3. 2x minus 3. Breadth we don't know. Okay. Now this is a mathematical information. We will solve with the help of this. We know the formula of perimeter of rectangle. Perimeter of rectangle is 2 times L plus 2 times breadth. Right. Now P they have given 6x plus 2. Length they have given 2 into 2x minus 3 plus 2b we don't know. So we are leaving it as it is. Now let's solve it. How much ever we can. Now 2 into 2 4x minus 2 into 3 6 plus 2b we are leaving it as it is. Now we need to find out the value of B. Eventually the ultimate aim is to find out the value of B. So our intention is to leave B alone. So whatever is remaining we should try to move it that side. So 6x plus 2 pehle hi hai. Ye 4x minus 6 pura hum log udar leke jayenge. So 4x ka sign hai plus that will become minus and minus 6 will become plus 6 and 2B will remain as it is. Plus, we can write you can write or don't write. Doesn't make any difference. Now, x, x, 6, x minus 4, x is 2, x. Plus 2, plus 6 is plus 8. Is equal to 2, b. Now, baki sab to gai. Abhi ye 2, b bhejna padega. 2, b means 2 into b. Here it is multiplication. So, 2, when we send it to the other side of equal to, it will be division. So, 2x plus 8 upon 2 is equal to b. Now, we are observe the numbers 2 and 8. There is a common divisor 2 that we will take it out. So, under kya bachega? 2x me se sirf x bachega. Or ye 8 me se 2 gaya. It is not addition or subtraction. It is 2 into 4. Us me se 2 nikal rahe. Bahar nikal rahe hum lo, Right? So, under kya bachega? 4 upon 2 is equal to b. Now, this 2 will go with this. So, b is equal to x plus 4. This is your answer. Isn't it easy? Whatever they have given in the form of English language, in the form of question, we have converted that into a mathematical language. Here, the concept of perimeter plays a very very important role.
right? Perimeter is such a topic which is based on formula. So your job is very very easy. If you know the formula, you can arrive at the answer, right? Students, we will stop here. I will come with the second video of concept building very very soon because there are various concepts which you are supposed to know. If you know all the concepts thoroughly, your half battle is won. Okay? That important is concept building. That is the reason I have started with this new series of videos. Right? So, second video jaldi hi aega. Till then, study well. And very important thing is, enjoy studying. Bye.